Hey church, welcome to the 2 p.m. Touchpoint at Great Commission Church. You know that we're increasing our ministry and we're temporarily going online. Today I want to talk about hospitality. A couple quotes that I read. One, some folks make you feel at home, others make you wish you were. The other quote is this, treat your guests as guests for two days, but on the third day, give them a dish rag. He needs to start working. Paul writes to Titus that ordained church leaders must be hospitable. You can see this in Titus 1.8. This reflects a very old divine wisdom, which began when God established physical hospitality laws for the strangers who were passing through Israel. The rules were established in order to protect them from the diseases of an ancient and nomadic lifestyle. Leviticus 19, 33 and 34 says, And if a stranger dwells with you in your land, you shall not mistreat him. The stranger who dwells among you shall be to you as one born among you, and you shall love him as yourself. For you are strangers in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Hey, Jesus himself commands Christians to be hospitable, even more so when people are physically suffering. We see this in Matthew 25. It says, For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not take me in. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them saying, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. During this time of crisis, it may be tempting to self-isolate so much that Christian service becomes unthinkable. But there are ways that you can participate in the Christian practice of hospitality without exposing yourself or others to risk. For example, you can send people gift cards. Uh, there's food delivery credits on services such as Uber Eats or even do a last-minute grocery run uh, for as many elderly people in the church as possible. Hey, don't forget about those who already worship alone with us. Many of them don't have family members and they're home alone. Hey, you can pick up the phone and check on your small group. There's so many ways to practice Christian hospitality even when we can't meet. I have a couple quotes I want to leave you with. The first is this, no one is useless in this world who lightens the burden of anyone else. Less advice and more hands. Another one is, what a big difference there is between giving advice and lending a hand. And finally, a candle loses nothing of its light by lighting another candle. Hey, this has been your 2 p.m. touch point.